Hello and welcome to DFS Coach Talk. Today is Saturday, April the 23rd, 2022. I am Joe Sarvati, affectionately known as Coach, and I am joined by the one and only Josh Crash Davis. We are here to go over this plethora of Major League Baseball games and slates spread out from early afternoon, mid-afternoon, early evening, late evening. You, you want to watch baseball today, you're going to be able to watch some baseball. So we're going to go over that, our normal, uh, for those that may be joining us for the first time on the weekend here. We're going to hit on pitchers, prize picks, plays, BVP, stacks, HR calls, all of this, the components that can help you build some winning lineups, regardless of what slate you're playing. So we are going to go over that uh, here and try to do it in a timely fashion so everybody has a chance to get in those early games if they'd like to. So... Crash, how are you on this wonderful Saturday, April the 23rd? Doing well, Coach. It is definitely starting to warm up here. I don't know how the weather is over there, but yeah, we're getting into the 80s now, so it's starting to feel more like late spring, early summer. So, Well, hopefully we're getting there little by little as well. I'm, I'm ready for some nice, warm, sunny weather. I think uh, everybody is probably uh, yeah. all over the country, although we have some people in the Far West and South, we have people in, by the way, th hello to our Australian members, France, yes. Spain, Canada. It's really amazing that we have uh, people from all corners of the world, not just the right. state. So yeah. shout out to all of them. Every, it's a different season all over the place, too. So True. makes it fun uh, to, to go over. So uh, pretty good night. Last night, I was very proud of my big picture I was touting on our pod. Uh, yeah. yesterday yeah kyle Wright, he really killed it he really did yeah he 11 did. strikeouts i think he had yeah. 11 k's yeah yeah in six innings um yeah. and innings. just uh looked really sharp so that was a good yeah, start hopefully some of our listeners that caught that onto that yesterday uh jumped on him because uh he was the highest scoring pitcher on the slate so mm -hmm. can't yeah. beat that for yeah. sure well, excellent. Let's fly into this and get things rolling. I want to thank our presenting sponsor, which is Prize Picks. Go to prizepicks.com, sign up with the promo code Coach Talk, all one word, no space, and you get they will match you on your first deposit dollar for dollar, all the way up to a hundred bucks. If you want to jump with us here in uh at DFS Coach Talk, um, go to dfscoachtalk.com. You can sign up for as little as a three-day pass for 10 bucks, and you're going to get all of our information, all of our sports, all of our insight. And I just want to make a real quick mention, and we're going to dive into baseball. Uh, our man Colin Chach and our stud uh, baseball guy, Mike S., put their heads together a little bit. Mm -hmm. Colin ran with it. We have uh, now just starting to post our <clears throat> own internal – DFS Coach Talk uh, player ownership projections. So yeah. I think we've got a real edge on the field, something exclusive and something we're going to use in uh, all of our sports. So we're very, very excited to announce that. Definitely. Definitely. Great work by them for sure. Yep. They have been terrific. All right, my friend, you've got the table here. Let people tuned in to hear you talk baseball and me to just be the, you know, handsome face in the, in the window. <laughs> um, so hide the kids and then pets, you know, you don't want to scare them this early in the morning, yeah. but anyway, so let's talk pitchers. What's the word there crash. Uh, before we get into the pitchers, I just want to go over, this is going to this late, the podcast today is going to cover basically all games in this, you know, 15 days or 15 games today. Um, yeah. And there's no there's no weather issues as of right now, which is pretty right. unbelievable for 15 games in April. So looks like we got a pretty clear day ahead. Um, my Excellent. top pitcher play on that early on the early slate is going to be Nestor Cortez. He's 9100 on Fanduel, 9800 on DK. He hasn't allowed a run yet in his two starts against Baltimore and Toronto. Um, going to be going up against a tough test in Cleveland. They've been good against lefties, but I think that. With the limited options on this slate, uh, he is one of the better options. The only, op only other option that I would consider would be Alex Wood um, against Washington. He's 9,600 on FanDuel, 9,200 on DK. 
And there's one other pitcher that I want to use on this slate, but that's about it. So, okay. And, and how many games on this early slate? Uh, the early slate has four. Okay. You want to just let our folks know uh, here real quickly? Do you have those in front of you? Um, or yeah, you do not. The I put you on the spot. I just want to make sure everybody knows what we're referring to because it gets so diluted with all the different slates. Yeah. Yeah, it does. It definitely does. So we're going to be talking about the um, Cleveland Guardians, New York Yankees, San Francisco Giants, Washington Nationals, Colorado Rockies, Detroit Tigers, and Pittsburgh Pirates and Chicago Cubs. That's going to be the early slate. Okay, so, excellent. The other pitcher that I said I wanted to use is going to be my value pitcher play. It's going to be the guy I mentioned yesterday, but that game was postponed with the Rockies and Tigers, Tariq Skubal. Right. 7,100 on FanDuel, 8,300 on DK. This is the game that was supposed to play yesterday. It was moved to today, so Skubal is going to get the start against the Rockies, who, as I mentioned yesterday, are, are a lot easier matchup away from Coors uh, for most pitchers. So I do like Skubal here as a little bit of a value uh, especially at 7,900 on FanDuel. Yeah, I, I had a feeling you were going to stick with him. I think he's a good play as well. Yeah. Um, fade pitcher? Yeah, my fade pitcher is going to be Kyle Hendricks. He's 8,700 on FanDuel, 8,400 on DK. He faced the Pirates on April 13th. He only pitched three and two-thirds innings, allowed seven hits and six runs. Uh, he's been better at home this year, but I'd rather use Cortez or Scooball. Um, on the on the early slate here, then take a chance on Kyle Hendricks, you know, completely figuring out what Pittsburgh did against him in their first matchup. And if you go back to last year, he had a lot of trouble against him last year, too. So they he seem did. to have have given him some trouble and um, their their roster is a little bit better, has been performing a little bit better this year than last year. So. Yeah. Pirates, I got to you know, they look bad coming in, but man, they right. uh, they've been scrappy. Well, our, our ex-brewer, Daniel Vogelback, man, he's been tearing it up. So He has been. He's been off to a really good start. Yeah, he homered for me the other day when I rostered him. I was That's always a good thing. Yeah. Um, all right, are you going to go uh, complete down the list here for that early slate, or do you want to move to the other slates with other pitchers? Let's go to the other pitchers on the uh, main slate. Okay. Um, going to be the Miami Marlins at the Atlanta Braves, the New York Mets at the Arizona Diamondbacks, the Los Angeles Dodgers at the San Diego Padres, the Baltimore Orioles at Los Angeles Angels, and the Kansas City Royals at the Seattle Mariners. So it's a five game okay. slate. My Excellent. top pitcher, go ahead. What were you just no, saying? No, that's perfect. Okay. My top pitcher play on the on the main slate is going to be Ian Anderson. He's 9,700 on FanDuel, 9,600 on DK. He really had a nice bounce back against San Diego. Uh, pitched five and two-thirds innings with one run allowed and seven strikeouts after he really struggled in his first home game um, against the Reds. But outside of Jesus Sanchez, there isn't very many people that have had much success or had much success against him last year, which he was a rookie last year. So, I mean, he hasn't pitched a whole lot in the league. Right. Um, but out of the ones that have faced him, uh, Jesus Sanchez has definitely had the most success with three hits and four at bats. So outside of him, if, if he can avoid him, I think Ian Anderson should have a nice start. Um, probably not what we saw from Kyle Wright last night, but a decent start for his price. Very good. And then the other top pitcher play for me is going to be Noah Syndergaard, 10-2 um, on FanDuel. He's 8,600 on DK. I really like that price on DK at 86. Going up against Baltimore, who, as I've mentioned several times, has struck out the most of any team this year. Um, so I do like Syndergaard as well as uh, Ian Anderson on this main slate. Um, for value play, I like Matt Brash. He's 8,600 on FanDuel, 9,000 on DK going up against the Royals. Uh, they've mm -hmm. really been struggling to score. They've scored the second fewest runs per game this season with only 2.8. Only Baltimore scored less. So yeah, yeah. he's really only, really the only value option that I like on this slate. Um, Tyler Anderson is probably somebody that other people are going to look at, but he's going to be limited, I think, to probably about 70 pitches. He's filling yeah. in for Andrew, Andrew Heaney, uh, who's injured. And so he's been – Tyler Anderson has been coming out of the bullpen, so they're going to be limited limiting his pitches. So I think that um, that's just going to put Matt Brash ahead of him for me. 
and there's not really any other good matchups for the other value pitchers. So kind of by process of elimination, Matt Brash would be my value play on the main slate. Very good. You know, it is, uh, I was surprised to see how many subpar pitchers there were. I mean, all yeah. slates combined, it's right. like you got to dig pretty far to find some good pitchers. Yeah, for 15 games, there's really not a lot of great pitching, that's for sure. So. No, it's wherever in the rotation that people are having to dig down and, and get some guys to wow. uh, fifth starters or whatever the case may be. But uh, right. uh, I'll just mention a couple of pitchers that I was looking at to, to play and fade. And again, okay. uh, just sp sporadic throughout the slate, because I know some people on some sites you can play all day, some you can play individual so we're just trying to appeal to everybody, give you our opinions, try to break it up as much as we can to help you build some things. But, you know, there's there's uh, the one game that I want to target today. I want to go back to this Texas-Oakland series. Mm. It's, a, it's a 407 Eastern game, but Mar Martin Perez and Frankie Monta Montas, you know, uh, Perez has been bad out of the gate, 0-2 with yeah. the 675. Oakland's not hitting their their lineup is pathetic, but I think they can hit him the mm. way he's been pitching. They've loaded up with righties at the top of their lineup, and uh, Montas. I've never been a Montas guy. I know he's two and one with the sub four ERA, but Texas does have a, a pretty potent hitting lineup. Yeah, and they have some lefties with Miller, Seager, Low, Calhoun, uh, both Calhouns, Cole and Willie. Yeah. Uh, that can hit uh, righty. So I like, I'm just, just food for thought for everybody out there is target. I'm going to target some of the hitters from both sides here. Mm -hmm. I think this is a game, even though yesterday's was low scoring. Yeah. Um, I think they hit today that mid afternoon game time, which will be early afternoon in Oakland creates shadows. And right. I just think it's, it's a, it's going to be a good, uh, hitting situation there uh, because it's earlier before those shadows come down and and bother the vision uh, of the players. So uh, mm -hmm. just the game to to sort of target there. Also, uh, it goes a little bit against your pick, um, but I'm just not sold on Matt Brash. He didn't impress me a ton. I'm not going to stack against him. But yeah. I like, you know, I like a couple of these uh, lefties against them. Andrew Benintendi, in fact, and again, this is the the nine ten Eastern, the last game on the slate. Mm -hmm. But I like Benintendi. I think, you know, we may get a Perez a homer here with Merrifield. I like the middle of that order two, three, four, five, and even a Nicky Lopez up top. Yeah. So I think they get to Brash today, not okay. to butt heads against you, but. I just uh, I'm I'm thinking Kansas City maybe can string some hits together in Seattle. Yeah, I mean that's why there's two of us so we can have different opinions. So. Exactly. All right, and then I'll just since I'm rolling here and I've already given my hand up with my Prize Picks plays, I'm just gonna let you know what my Prize Picks plays are throughout the day. Okay. And it is gonna be under Martin Perez 21 and a half pitching points. Mm -hmm. And under Frankie Monta Montas, under 29 and a half. Very seldom do I have two pitchers from the same game that I don't think are going to go very deep, and I'm going to yeah. take the under on both sides. So, you know, an interesting little strategy. Well, you know, plug that game in and look for a bunch of hits. And then the aforementioned Tommy Pham is I'm going to go over four and a half uh, in that game. I, I like the uh, – you know, the spot that he's in against Dakota Hudson here. I think he's mm -hmm. due. He's right batting third, right in the middle there. And he's a string hitter. So I can see him getting multiple hits today. Those yeah. are my prize picks plays for baseball for right now. Okay. So going back to where we were at on the main slate, I'm going to go to my fade pitcher. Um, I know I faded him a week and a half ago or so, and, and he did horribly against San Francisco. And that was you, Darvish. He's 9,400 yeah. on FanDuel. He's 10-2 on DK. He's one of the most expensive pitchers on FanDuel, the most expensive on, on DK tonight. So yeah. going to fade him against the Dodgers. I mean, I don't think I have to go too far into explaining why. They no. scored the second most runs per game. That lineup is just ridiculous. So uh, Darvish is going to be my fade on the main slate. 
Yeah, I think that's wise against that murderer's row for sure. Yeah. And when Darvish gets bombed, he gets bombed. Oh, so. yeah. Yeah, definitely. And then for my prize picks plays, I'm going to go with the under at 24 and a half for Kyle Hendricks. Okay. Um, he scored less than 24 fantasy points in four out of five games against the Pirates last year. Averaged okay. about 16 fantasy points against them and scored five fantasy points against them in the first start this year. So um, they definitely seem to have his number, the Pirates do. So hopefully that continues today. Um, and then on the main slate, kind of going with my fade play, I'm going to take Trey Turner over seven and a half fantasy score. He yeah. has really good numbers against you, Darvish, which I'm going to get to here in a minute with my BVP play for the yeah. main slate. But um, – yeah, Trey Turner over seven and a half fantasy score would be my prize picks play for the main slate. And then going into the BVP, um, Key Brian Hayes on the early slate. He's 3,100 on FanDuel, 5,200 on DK. He's hit 500 against Kyle Hendricks with six hits and 12 at bats, uh, including two home runs. So really solid numbers against Hendricks. And, uh, and then on the main slate, as I mentioned, Trey Turner, he's 4,000 on FanDuel, 5,500 on DK. He's hit 625 against you, Darvish, with five hits and eight at-bats, two yeah. singles, two doubles, and a home run. So got really good numbers against Darvish. Uh, he and Freddie Freeman, who are two of the most recent additions for the Dodgers, are the ones that have really given Darvish trouble. He's had decent success against them in the past, actually. But with those two bats, I think that that's going to make a big difference. That lineup is just completely ridiculous. There's no yeah. doubt about it. I know. No doubt. Um I, I'll tell you what, I think I've got two other plays I want to share here. You can look at them as BVP or prize picks, either way you want to do it. But two uh -huh. things I want to mention. I think Miguel Cabrera gets hit 3,000 today. Okay, yeah, yeah. He's, he's one short, and they walked him the last at bat. I know. That but was... he's actually seeing the ball well right now. So, right. You know, it's against a lefty and Gomber. So, I'm, I'm, you know, just for the record, if you have a chance to – play that some of the sports books have that I think Cabrera gets 3000 today. And in that same game, I've got my uh, HR call. Do you mind if I jump to that? No, go ahead. Jonathan scope. I like him okay. going against Gomber here. This is a perfect spot for him. I like the way that the lineup sets up against Gomber in Detroit. It's warmed up a little bit. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that uh, he'll be my HR call today. Okay. I like that. Um, so now we're going to go into our stacks. My Correct. top stack uh, for a pay up stack will be the Giants. They're going up against it's right now to be determined. I think the Nationals are probably going to be looking at a bullpen game here. So right. I like the way the Giants have been looking at the plate lately. Um, had a couple nice games against the Mets. Had a great night last night against Patrick Corbin. So I yep. like the Giants bats. Uh, and then my GPP stack is going to be the Pirates against Kyle Hendricks. Key Brian Hayes, Daniel Vogel back, Kevin Newman, Brian Reynolds are the ones that are, are the main uh, guys that have done the most damage against Hendricks. So I like the Pirates quite a bit in the early slate. I like and it. On the main slate, I like the Los Angeles Angels up against Spencer Watkins. Uh, I like the lefties, Jared Walsh, Brandon Marsh, of course, Shohei Otani. And then, of course, with Trout back in the lineup, you can play him. And then um, I like the Mets up against Humberto Castellanos in Arizona. Um, Francisco Lindor has been on fire, so I would probably yeah. put him in any lineup. Uh, even if you don't stack the Mets, I would have Lindor probably in any lineup tonight. So the Mets and the Angels on the main and the Pirates and the Giants on the early slate. And, and my, they're sort of all GPP stacks. I'm not going to give you the Dodgers and Yankees and yeah. you know everybody right. can pick those. My GPP stacks are Detroit, Texas, and Oakland. And I've mentioned all of them, so I won't repeat myself, but mm -hmm. they're not going to be high owned stacks. Right. But I do. I think they can be sneaky winners. Uh, even if you only mini stack them, uh, I think you can get some good results from those teams. Yeah, yeah. I, I used the Oakland stack last night. It didn't work out, but maybe they'll bounce back today. I hope so. I think so. I, I really do. And Martin Perez is not a good pitcher. Yeah, yeah. And with all those righties up top for Oakland, I, I'd be yeah. shocked if they didn't get to him. So yeah. 
especially Sean Murphy. He's been playing really well. I like yeah. Sean Murphy. Yeah. Uh, my HR call is going to be Key Brian Hayes on the early slate. Um, I've mentioned it a bunch already about Ken- Kyle Hendricks and that matchup. Yeah. And then on the main slate, I'm going to go with Shohei Otani against Spencer Watkins. So Otani. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Well, <clears throat> hope, hopefully that gives a good indication of some of the plays, fades, you know, places we're going to look at. Hopefully it gives you also a little look so that you can play a, a bit on all the slates if you like. So mm-hmm. uh, fantastic stuff. And again, you know, as uh, part of what we're doing here, this brand new in-house ownership tool really allows you to leverage properly and really yeah. takes, uh, it's a game changer for us, takes us another step uh, because we're creating our own uh, piece of information there. So we're really excited about that. Uh, definitely come and join us, dfscoachtalk.com. Also, if you're watching this on YouTube right now, quick thumbs up is really, really appreciated. It helps us move up that algorithm uh, on YouTube. Hit that subscribe button, hit the little alert in the upper corner. That really helps us as well. If you're listening to us on any of our audio podcast landing spots, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, wherever it is, quick five star and comment at the end of each month. We pick uh, a call and goes through, hits our randomizer, and somebody wins a free full week access with Coach Talk. We also have a bunch of big other announcements coming up soon that we'll Mm -hmm. share, some contests, some giveaways, some additional uh, information about everything we have going. So definitely appreciate everybody listening in today. Uh, Crash, do you have any final baseball gems for our crew here? Um. Yeah, I just wanted to mention, I think I mentioned this in Discord. I'm not going to be picking up against uh, or picking against my Brewers pitchers anymore. That was way too stressful last night. <laughs> <laughs> I had I had Freddie Peralta sitting there, which we took the under at 26 and a half. And he's sitting there. I knew it was his last at bat or no last batter he was going to face. And he's at 26. So I'm thinking, OK, can he walk this batter? Can you know, how is he going to? get away from getting over 26 and he struck him out. So he obviously went over, but that was way too stressful last night. So I won't be doing that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I figured you were dying and I, you, that know, was rough. I knew you talked him into a good performance. I mean, yeah, no doubt. <laughs> yeah that, that was in the back of my mind the whole time. I was like, he's going to have an excellent game now, but yeah, it never fails, mm-hmm. man. Never yeah. Fails. Yeah. Well, awesome. Well, great job today. Uh, and uh, hopefully, again, that you know, that helps you build on whatever slate you're playing, try to make sure and cover everything for our members. Uh, we'll be in Discord all day. We'll be on watching this on the premiere if you have any questions in at, on YouTube. But uh, we'd love to answer those and, and jump in with you. So as always, uh, great job, Crash. And we really hope this uh, Gets everybody to some takedowns today. Go for the big Mm -hmm. bucks. And uh, today's why not today and why not Mm -hmm. us? That's what we're looking at. So appreciate everybody listening in. Enjoy the the baseball weather today being all games or go. It looks like unless anything crazy pops up. So we have that behind us now. It's just putting the right uh, players together. So uh, have a great one. Enjoy your day. We really appreciate you. And we'll see you again tomorrow when we look to crush it in MLB DFS and prize picks.